While most Wi-Fi devices operate on 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz Wi-Fi is becoming increasingly popular. Today, we'll get started hacking 5 GHz Wi-Fi devices on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. While 2.4 GHz has been the Wi-Fi standard since it was introduced, 5 GHz has been appearing on more and more modern Wi-Fi routers, presenting hackers with a problem. If you're going after a device that has access to both a 2.4 and a 5 GHz network, it means that when you start attacking on the 2.4 GHz network, it might simply just jump over to the 5 GHz network, leaving you unable to attack it unless you're able to use pen testing gear that is able to go after 5 GHz network. Now what that means is the ability to use a wireless network adapter like this to plug into an antenna that supports 5 GHz as well. And in this case, we're using an alpha wireless network adapter plugged into a simple Wi-Fi Yagi antenna that supports both 2.4 and 5 GHz networks. Now when I plug this in, it's not going to work automatically in Kali, and that can be pretty frustrating for a beginner who just wants to get this up and running. Today, we'll go into how to install a wireless network adapter that might not originally be plug and play with Kali Linux. And if you get confused, you can also check out the Nullbyte article in the description because this is a topic that a lot of beginners get stuck on. Once you have a Kali compatible wireless network adapter that is not plug and play and a antenna that supports 5 gigahertz, then we can get started. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. Okay, we can see we're picking up five gigahertz networks, which means that we successfully installed the driver and now we are able to use this normally in Kali Linux. Although this wasn't plug and play, we were able to get it up relatively quickly, although it would have been even faster if we were using Kali Linux because these drivers are included and we can just basically install them with the command I mentioned at the beginning. As we saw today, initially after purchasing a 5 GHz capable wireless network adapter, you might plug it into your Kali system and think that nothing is working. Fortunately, with a couple simple steps, we can get these Kali compatible network adapters up and running and go after 5 GHz networks as easily as we go after 2.4 GHz networks. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. If you have any ideas for future episodes, you can send me a message on Twitter at Cody Kinsey. And if you have any problems or run into any steps that need troubleshooting, you can check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.